Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And, and this, this is, is the Insider, Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know, Cat. I gotta know, the comedy night. Oh my gosh, it was... (laughs) So we had a stand-up comedy night at Oxenfree, and we learned after the end of that night that they were busier that night than they were on New Year's Eve, which is just insane. Yeah, that's Yeah, a ton of people turned out, and Evan killed it, and yeah, it was just a fun night. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. You had mm-hmm. several performers go up there and stuff, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. There, like yeah. a slew of people, yeah. And we were highlighting locally born, locally based comics. So, so yeah, a lot of the local people who are just getting started came up and did like tight fives and stuff. And then we had some featured comics and then Evan was the headliner. And yeah, yeah, right yeah. That's, so there was just comedy, comedy, comedy. Comedy, comedy, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. good. And so it was a good night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, we learned how to make sure that the speakers are, you know, ear splitting even in the back so that, so that we can reach the back of that room. It's a funny little room there with like you know yeah around the way corner and stuff around. like that yeah. you know but uh so yeah no lessons learned and we'll see about putting on something in the future there if, uh, if they'll have us back so yeah it was a good time yeah well that's why I, I noticed that the people are going outside of their areas like misty mountains doing the thing at the grange the grange is getting a lot of play time they now. are yeah and i'm really been getting I'm some play time forward to, yeah. to that event coming up as well we're going to be talking about the leather and lace thing um it's yeah. hell week for the vagina monologues and it's yeah. just yeah we're we're in the thick of it you guys are going out <laughs> well i was just telling you got everything in the paper too thank I, goodness you guys had that got it to me and everything so you out let that be a lesson out there mm-hmm. you people who go oh i could have got my event in the paper yeah. And I forgot about it. I haven't Cat slept in a week. doesn't forget she gets, I get the stuff right on time and I'm good to go. Yeah. Speaking of the paper, that's what mm-hmm. we finished it off this last week. So, and it was the first time, like I said, first time I put the paper together myself. Yeah. And Michelle took and she edited it and uh, fixed some of the stuff that I got like hit a wall on, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, but she oh, got it fixed right. up and it looks really good. Yeah. And uh, we got a bunch of your stuff we're going to be talking about in it as well. <laughs> yeah, we, yep. yep. So it's going yep, to be, yep. still. <laughs> March is like a crazy month. There's, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I had plenty of material. Let's put it that way. I didn't have to, you know, everything in the paper. There was plenty going on. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was going on there. That's what we did this weekend and watched some racing and all that. And oh my gosh, we were talking about the weather too. How crazy. And on top of that, the winter storm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. did we get a little bit of everything every day? I think so. It was like, you know, they always make that joke about how you yeah, stick around five minutes, it'll change. It wasn't no joke. It was happening like that. I mean, mm-hmm. you just all of a sudden, it'd be nice and sunny, and you're sitting there going for a minute, and you get out and get doing what you got to do outside really quick, and then, uh, and then you start seeing that dark overcast coming over. Next thing, you'll boom down. and mm-hmm. uh, Trees man, I are mean, coming that was some, down and just, yeah. Some mean hail and some, st- I mean, this stuff. The winds. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, this was not the uh, the fluffy snowfall we got last year. That's yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wind is like whoo, something else. I mean, that's a little bit more than I'm used to around here. I hadn't, hadn't seen it like that. It's, it's been too bad. Yeah, it's yeah. been pretty. It's a little crazy this year. Makes you wonder what the government's doing out there. <laughs> <laughs> sure, <Bruce. laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. <laughs> oh, you dropped your tinfoil hat. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> Perfect. But down bump. Yeah. Where's my oh, Where's goodness. my sound machine? Yeah, you know but, uh, maybe yeah, we, maybe we should get into some some fisherman <laughs> stuff. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Thanks, we're just goofing off too. Yeah, much we're this having morning. too much fun this Monday morning. <laughs> but yeah, before we get going, I hope y'all had a good time out there this weekend. And there's lots to be going. We'll be talking about. And before we get started, I'd like to thank Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as Castaways, just the jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your merry way. And speaking of one of our favorite castaways is here, Mr. Dave Keene. Yes, he's got the report and he's not out on the water. That's for sure. I was kind of been for a while. Yeah. I almost was going to go on the water. Today it just got just it, a little too cold and windy and rainy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm hoping maybe Thursday or Friday because you're talking weather and all the crazy weather we've had, and it's affected the fishing. Uh, that's for sure. It's just been so hard to get out in the ocean that we yeah. talked about last time. Well, it's still that way. Very difficult to get out there, and uh, with the river, I know we're still trying to collect steelhead brood stock. Uh, still had fishing still occurring, but we've had some high water a lot. So it's made it real difficult to do that as well. However, 
Uh, the future may look bright, I hope. Mm. Uh, the Pacific Fisheries Management Council is meeting starting tomorrow, and that's at the federal level. And so they'll do it in March for eight days and then come back in, in April for eight days. So this first meeting that they're going to have will set the stage for the possible salmon seasons that may happen or not happen. Because as you recall, last year we had no Chinook season. We were totally closed here. Right. California was closed all year for Chinook. So uh, we'll see how it plays out. But we are going w with some anticipation of maybe having a Chinook season this year sometime in July. It'll be a short one, but I think we stand a good chance of getting it. Um, well, we'll see. I'd like to see it. Okay, snookered on the Chinook. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Be careful on that one. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> we'll also hopefully have a coho season like we had last year. That's the silver salmon. Hatchery only for our area, and that could start opening in mid-June and go for a good while. So we look like tentatively we might have a salmon season this year. Halibut is pretty much set. We'll open May 1st for that like normal and go to the end of October 31st or until our quota is met. Uh, instead of one fish per day this year, where they're going to give us two halibut per day. I, I don't know why it's hard enough. Just to for the halibut. Good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> moment there with your belly. You got to read the belt. <laughs> Just for the halibut. And so we'll see how that plays out. But that opens May 1st. We can still go for rockfish. It's open year round for us. Five rockfish, two lane cod. It's just, again, been very difficult to get out there and take advantage of it. Springtime is also a good time to go surf perch fishing. So that's, you'll see people doing that. I was just going to ask well, about the surf. Yeah, that's, it's yeah, a good time. March, April. Yeah. Uh, just, again, be careful of the sneaker waves because you can get in trouble quickly. Those waves are crazy out there. Never right turn your back on the ocean. No. The, old, the old saying. Yes. So let's see. I might be forgetting something. I'm just anxious to go fishing. I hope to have an opportunity yeah. Thursday, I'm looking to go out. Now, did you guys have a meeting or something going on? We month? will have a big meeting coming up. Thank you. In yeah, March, that was something you were talking about. March 20th, we're going to have it at the Elks Club because it's a little bit bigger format for this. You usually have it at the library. Right. Mm -hmm. So March 20th, Wednesday, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., we'll have our March club meeting, but we're combining it with our uh, Checo Chrome Challenge Awards night. Okay. That's the Steelhead Broodstock collection that we been doing. Right. Mm -hmm. We have been getting some. It's just not as many as we'd like, but we have awards that we give out and raffles, Very so cool. it's quite fun. And we'll have a couple guest speakers uh, coming from up uh, Coos Bay area, a couple well-known ones that will talk about the um, advantages of having hatchery fish in the program and having well-sustained hatcheries. So oh, it's going to be a big meeting. It's going to be fun. Then. And the next time I come back, though, I should have some good intel on what this meeting coming up is about. Oh, right on. Oh, so that's salmon. the 20th you're saying at the Oak yep. Lodge? Mm -hmm. okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Good deal. So that's what's happening. Right on. Well, very cool. Well, thank you very much going in. Thanks for the swag. I got a hat here. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. very cool. My pleasure. You'll mm -hmm. caught on the hook. And what's it say? Go hard or go home? Puff balls. All right. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Very cool. I love that. Thank you. Swag is always fun. <laughs> you betcha. Well, it. pleasure to be here. Good to see you, Kat. Mm, Bruce. You too. Yep, and you get out there and get dancing with Mary Lou. She's waiting. Yep, it's, it's, it's time to do it. Down I'm keep her way. Down. I'm going. Got to right. dance with some Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, it's the new yeah. Beyonce uh, country. It's like uh, gone viral. Her new country. Oh my goodness! So oh. we're that we're going to be doing a dance to it today. We'll be in the boot scoop boogie to Something it. Something like that too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. um, well, have a great one. Always a pleasure to have you here, Dave. Thank Appreciate you. Thanks, it. Bruce. Bye, Dave. Bye, Kat. All right. Well, always a good time there. Yeah, this is, well, Dave. I had a feeling it hadn't been out on the ocean for a while, so there we go. Hopefully, know, they'll be able to get out there soon. Like Fingers you said. crossed that sunny forecast for Thursday stays sunny. Oh, man. I know we're supposed to have like three or four days. That's supposed to be cool. Yeah. That'd be yeah. a nice little reprieve. Yeah, the fishermen are getting restless. Right. <laughs> well, hey, we got a lot of music scheduled here, so let's get started with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So we'll start off with some events happening at the Elk Valley Casino. First off, at the Betty Green Event Center on the 16th, there will be comedian Tim Gaither at 8 p.m., on the 23rd, it's another private event. And then on the 29th, they'll have Bad Moon Rising, a CCR tribute at 8 p.m. And then on the 30th, they'll be doing music by one of these nights, an Eagles tribute, and music starting again at 8 p.m. And then for their Warriors Bar and Grill, all events there starting at 7.30. On the 8th, they're going to have the Mighty Steelheads. On the 9th, Steve Berg. On the 15th and 16th, Hannah Paysinger. On the 22nd and 23rd, Jesse Mead. 
And then on the 29th and 30th, music by Steve Nelson. Oh, yeah, be rocking there. That, that's cool. Yeah, two tribute bands night after night. That's perfect, man. One? Back to back. <laughs> cool. Hey, the Mighty Steelheads, on the 8th, they'll be at Elk Valley Casino, 6 to 9. And then on the 9th, they're going to be at Pops, 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Yes, and then the Italian guys are playing all month long at Kuntai on the 7th, the 14th, and the 29th. Music there going from 6 to 8 p.m. Yep, and then Bloodline will be playing on the 17th, St. Fat Irish, at 2.30 p.m. All right, and then Mike Powell is playing on the 22nd at Checo Brewing from 6 to 8. That's right, and Daniel Duran and Ohana. Tuesdays, you got an open mic at the Ox, 8 p.m. to 11. On Thursdays, there's open mic at Checo Brewing Company, 5 to 8. Then on the 7th, they'll be at the Grange with the Misty Mountain Brewing Leather and Lace Party. The music runs from 5 to 9. We don't have a schedule on who's playing when. Mm -hmm. So just go there and hang out for four hours and just listen to the music. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hey, and on the 23rd, they'll be at the Grange again during the Chamber of Commerce Resident Meet and Greet. Now, this will be going from noon to 5 p.m. And then we have a schedule here for PA and T-Roy. They're playing on the 7th at the Grange's Misty Mountain Brewing Leather and Lace Party. Again, just generally music running 5 to 9 p.m. And then they're going to be at the Checo Brewing Co. on the 8th from 6 to 8. And then on the 22nd, they'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing. Music there also running from 6 to 8 p.m. And then Rogue Strings will be playing on the 16th at Oxen Free at 8 p.m. All right, and we've got a schedule here for Lon Goddard. He's playing on the 15th and 29th at Misty Mountain Brewing. Music from 6 to 8. On the 6th and 20th, he'll be at Kuntai from 6 to 8. On the 9th, Tortuga Mexican Restaurant from 6 to 8. And then on the 30th, he'll be at the Stage Lights Spaghetti Feed Fundraiser, also happening at the Grange from 4 to 7. Yep, at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant there. Their music runs from 6 to 8. They have Devon Herzog will be playing on the 8th. On the 9th, we'll have Lon Goddard. On the 15th, they'll be Honest Labor. On the 16th, Black GTO. On the 22nd, they'll have Jonathan Foster. On the 23rd, Devon Herzog again. On the 29th, Greg Russell. And on the 30th, Honest Labor. Honest Labor. (laughs) All right. And then we've got a schedule here for Cisco and Daltrey. On the 27th, they'll be at the Checo Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then Cisco's going solo on the following dates, the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. Cisco will be at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's indeed and Ranch Party will be playing on the 8th at the Brookings Elks Lodge, 6 to 8. And on the 15th and 16th, you'll find them at Kuntai, 6 to 8. Yes, and down at the Eniteca in Crescent City. On the 15th, the Spence Bros Blues Band will be playing from 8 to 10. And then on the 22nd, Stephanie Latore and the Reverbs are playing from 8 to 10. Yeah. On the 7th, they'll be at the Grange during that Leather and Lays party. On the 13th, they've got Mike Schmidt and Ross Morgan from 6 to 8. On the 15th and 29th, they'll have Lon Goddard from 6 to 8. And on the 22nd, it'll be P.A. and T-Roy 6 to 8. All right. And that is our music. Plenty of music to keep you busy in yeah, the evenings. Keep going. Yeah. Yes. Well, in non-music-related events, to start things off, Three Penny Theatre Co. is presenting The Vagina Monologues by Eve Ensler. This is happening at the Brookings Event Center. That's 800 Checo Avenue, Unit B in Brookings. It's running from March 8th through the 17th. Friday and Saturday performances start at 7 p.m., and then they have Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. Featuring performances from Hollywood actor and stand-up comedian Chloe Rosenthal, as well as former Oregon and Boise Shakespeare Festival actor Victoria Weller, the Vagina Monologues has been performed to critical acclaim in venues worldwide since 1996, is an Obie Award winner and a staple at annual fundraisers to end violence against women. The Vagina Monologues is an introspective, unflinching, and unforgettable night of theater for anyone with a vagina, anyone who identifies as female, and all the people who love and support them. Tickets are $15 in advance at threepennytheater.com or at the door on the day of performance. Discounts are available for seniors, students, and veterans, and doors open 30 minutes before the start of each show. If you need more information, you can call 541-251-0640, or you can send a message to contact at threepennytheater.com, or you can find them and follow them on social media. Three Penny Theater Co. is on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. They're all over the place, you are. <laughs> you got on your T-shirt. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can even find us on T-shirts. <laughs> hey, we got the Misty Mountain Brewing is presenting, and once again, the Leather and Lace theme party. It has to be happening on the 7th, 5 to 9 p.m. at the Grange. Music, food, and beer. The biggest music lineup they've all been waiting for with a 
many community favorites like Zane Van Zelf, Steve Nelson, P.A. and T. Roy, Danielle and Ohana, and they're also going to have food there, a taco bar, El Pastor, and chicken El Carbon. All righty. Here we go. Hmm. Carbon. And Danaka is presenting Tiller's Folly in Concert. This is happening Friday, March 8th at 7 p.m. And Danaka is presenting West Coast Celtic Roots Band Tiller's Folly. Tiller's Folly has been telling tales as old as time with a modern lyrical twist and the penchant for stirring tales of intrigue and adventure inspired by true life heroes and villains, backed by their potent mix of acoustic Celtic-influenced roots sound. The concert will be held at the Betty Green Events Center inside the Elk Valley Casino Complex. Tickets are available at Del Norte Office Supply in Crescent City, online at denaka.eventbrite.com, and any remaining tickets will be available for sale at the door. For more information, you can contact Denaka at 707-464-1336. Or you can send a message to office at denaka.net. Yes, indeedy. Hey, Coos Forest Protection Association is presenting as your home resistant to wildfire. Learn about defensible space and hope hardening best practices. Identify ways to make your home and property more resilient to wildfire. Connect with your neighbors and local state agencies. These meetings will be going on at Gold Beach on the 13th of March, 6 p.m. at the Event Center on the Beach located at 29392 Ellensburg Avenue in Gold Beach. And then in Brookings on the 14th at 6 p.m. at the Southwestern Oregon Community College Curry Campus. This is located at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway. For more information on this, you can call 541-661-3487. All right. And there's going to be a poetry and prose reading happening at Forecastle Books. They're located at 553 Checo Avenue in Brookings. And this event is going to be featuring G.A. Cockrum on the 7th at 5.45 p.m. G.A. Cockrum is both an author and an artist. She lives with her husband, Bruce, on the southern Oregon coast, an area that's inspired much of her writing, including the O'Toole Starker murder mystery series. When not writing, painting, or spending time with Bruce, Cockrum volunteers for the Curry County Sheriff's Office and serves as a director on the boards of the Manly Arts Center, Goose Curry Electric Cooperative, and the Federated Rural Electric Insurance Exchange. She is a retired financial advisor and insurance broker. For more information about the event, you can contact Michael Spring at 541 541- Four five zero one 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 five, or you can send an email to bluecrow underscore four at yahoo dot com. Right, there you go. And she's a poet too. So there. Yeah. Luck of the Irish Benefit concert featuring the Ferguses brothers will be at the Pistol River Friendship Hall, located at two four two five two Carpenterville Road. On the ninth, doors open at six p.m. They're going to have Arch Rock Brewing and food available for purchase. For info, you can call five four one six nine eight seven eight nine seven or 480-246-2755. All proceeds benefit the Gold Beach High School students performing with the Oregon Ambassadors of Music who will be traveling to five European countries in July. Oh, cool. So that's going to cost a pretty penny. Yeah, so they need to Bye. raise some money. Sounds, sounds like a plan. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, Legends Arcade down at 16378 Lower Harbor Road is presenting Mario Day. This is on the 10th of March. It's running from 2 to 9 p.m. And at 6 p.m., there's going to be a video game-themed costume contest. Best costume wins a swag bag and a gift card. Yeah, there you go. Another St. Patrick's Day fundraiser going on at the Checo Activity Center, located at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings. This will be happening Friday, March 15th. Corned beef and cabbage alternate lunch will be served from 11.15 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. It will be $10 each. Then you got a corned beef and cabbage dinner, $20 each, but it's takeout only. And if people mention they saw the Insider of Sword Oregon flyer, which is in the paper, which will be out (laughs) this week, or heard about it on the radio, they get $5 off each meal purchased. So there you go. You can pick up at 1230 to 230 p.m. Sunday, March 17th. And then at 4 p.m. on St. Patty's Day, they got a pot of gold potluck. They say, please bring a themed green slash Irish dish to share your own beverage, plate, and utensils, and or purchase a corned beef and cabbage meal from the kitchen. Currently accepting donations for these fundraisers, you can contact Rita at 541-469-6822 for information on how you can help. All right. And now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, we're going into March now, birthdays, and here are some quotes from Dr. Seuss himself, Theodore Geisel. He was born March 2nd, 1904. He says, today was good, today was fun, tomorrow is another one. (laughs) Go figure. (laughs) 
He says, the more you read, the more things you will know, the more that you learn, the more places you go. Uh, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the person who will decide where to go. And then last but not least, he says, I like nonsense. It wakes up the brain cells. <laughs> Very cool. Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Dr. Seuss with Cousin Bruce. That's mm. right. Until next week, have a great one. Mm. You know, I did that Grinch play, and mm -hmm. when I wrote it, it was all rhyming. I had to write the whole thing. So I found myself rhyming everything for about a week or so after I wrote that thing. I was driving everyone around you. Yeah, they're like, bonkers. Going, okay, Bruce, everything you say is going to rhyme. And I'm like, going, I can't help it, man. It's stuck. I can't. Do that. My brain is broken. I can't do it. Anymore. Yeah, I got stuck on it. Yeah, it's right there. Oh my goodness! Yeah, All right, and that's that that's funny. why that's why uh, Doctor Seuss plays are a special occasion. Yeah, yeah <laughs> not yeah. performed. Ever. I did the same thing with the cat in the hat when I rewrote that yeah. and did the. I was rhyming every. We don't rewrote that. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to move right along, okay? <laughs> yes, we okay. are. I could do this all day, folks. Oh, my gosh. Speaking <laughs> of plays, the Rogue yeah. Playhouse and Ellensburg Theater Company at 94196 Westmore Street in Gold Beach is presenting Tombstone, directed by Michael Hall. This is running from the 15th through the 31st of March. They have Friday and Saturday performances at 7.30, Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. The year is sometime in the 1880s, and Wyatt Earp and his brothers Virgil and Morgan are living and working as lawmen in Tombstone, Arizona. Wyatt is also part owner of the Oriental Saloon. At the time of our story, Wyatt is living with Maddie Blaylock while seeing a young lady of ill repute named Josie on the side. There's a building resentment on the part of ex-sheriff Johnny Behan, whose job and girl Wyatt has relieved him of. The Glantons and McLowrys are no big fans of Wyatt either, for reasons you'll discover. Once Doc Holliday shows up, pursued closely by Big Nose Kate, well, let's just say things begin to uh, escalate. They advise you to make reservations for the show. You can do that by calling 541-247-4382. Tickets are $15. They're available at Gold Beach Books, as well as Jerry's Rogue Jets gift shop. That's right. Hey, and then Jack Wilhite's rock and roll comedy show tour is happening. Professional Rock vocal impressionist and stand-up comedian Jack Wilhite employs guitars, amps, lighting, effects, pops, and costumes to bring music parodies of rock acts like ACDC, Bon Jovi, Cheap Trick, John Mellencamp, ZZ Top, Ozzy Osbourne, a whole lot more. Now, there's two chances to catch the show. You can catch it here in Brookings on the 15th at the Brookings Elks Lodge, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tickets are available at the door. For more information, you can call 541-469-2169. Or you can catch them on the 17th at Mr. Ed's Espresso Juice and Underground Pub, located 1806 Oregon Street in Port Orford, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tickets available for that one are online at www.mredsundergroundpub.com and at the door. All right. There is an event going on, the Del Norte Seed and Plant Exchange, happening at the Del Norte Fairgrounds Arts and Crafts Building. This is happening on the 16th of March from noon to 4 p.m., it's a free public event with seeds, plants, scions, hands-on garden demonstrations, kids' activities, and garden experts available, as well as silent raffle, local food, and drinks. This is a fundraiser for the DNATL Community Food Council. Another fundraiser. Yeah. Hey, and the Brickings Elks Logs, located at 800 Elk Drivers, presenting Harbor Game Con. This is happening on the 16th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. They're excited to announce Harbor Game Con is back for its second year. The convention will once again be 100% free to attend and open to all ages. Harbor Game Con 2024 will be hosting the following events, a schedule of tabletop role-playing and board games, a giant open board game library to choose from, Magic the Gathering, casual play and open card game tables, vendors selling crafts, toys, games, and cards, and they have early sign-ups. Players can sign up for scheduled games prior to the convention. Early sign-ups will be held between March 1st and 15th. Early sign-up period, the sign-up sheets will be located in a binder at the Whimsical Griffin Game Store in Brookings. The day of the convention, sign-up sheets will be available at the convention for same-day sign-up. Food and beverages will be available for purchase. All right, now it's time for a bit of Weird History with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right, good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's Bit of Weird History for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know cats were once considered to be used as spies? It's true. In what sounds like a kid's movie plot, the Central Intelligence Agency once tried to turn a fluffy cat into a secret agent feline. In the early 1960s, the CIA spent around $20 million on Project Acoustic Kitty. 
rigging a poor cat with a radio antenna in its tail, a microphone hidden in its ears, and a transmitter installed in the base of its skull. Well, the hope was that the cat could get close enough to unsuspecting people to eavesdrop on them. Perhaps the most important skill for the typical spy is to blend in. Yet no matter how inconspicuous a person is, they still draw some attention. The guy delivering flowers or the janitor mopping up a spill could be a spy eavesdropping. Is a cat sitting on the wind still? No one expects mittens to engage in spycraft. On paper, cats might sound like the perfect spies. They're stealthy, can see in the dark, can easily surmount high walls, and perhaps most importantly, people tend to ignore them. Well, in practice, it turns out that cats make terrible spies. During an early trial deployment, the CIA released the spy cat from an unmarked van and directed it to spy on two people in the park. Well, tragically, the spy cat was struck and killed by a taxi while crossing the road. Unfortunately, it also proved that cats do not have nine lives. I hope you enjoyed this week's bit of history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Yeah, when bad. my stories go bad. I mean, yeah. fluffy guy. Yeah, that's, first mission out, you know, oh get taken. Out. I know. Yeah, it's gracious. What a that trip, though. So Twenty sad. million dollars. Uh huh. Twenty million dollars in the sixties on that. Uh, well, which yeah. would be like a hundred million nowadays or whatever. They I'd, just I'd, ridiculous. I'd, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we got time for one more event before yeah, we, we wrap did. up for the just day. Like top it off. Yeah. Yeah. So the Lucky Seven Casino is presenting Jamie O'Neill on the twenty third of March at eight p.m. And this is an evening of music with singer songwriter Jamie O'Neill. This is one night only. Doors open at seven. Show starts at eight. Tickets are available online at eventbrite.com or at the casino. And because it's a casino event, you have to be 21 years or older to attend. That's right. Well, we made it through all right. So, hey, before we get going, I just want to remind everybody, the second Saturday Art Walk is coming up this weekend from 3 to 6, downtown Brookings. Mm-hmm. A lot of participating shops down there. And, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all kinds of places. Manly Art Center, all kinds of stuff there to go check out. All the way down to the Whimsical Griffin. For mm-hmm. yeah. And then the Film Festival office for rolling for film screenings now. That's right. More and more stuff's getting screenings. added. Yeah, yeah going to have to get that, get that out there, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you for throwing that in there. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And while you're there, you can even check out the live streaming as well. All right, so until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out out there. there. Bam! Bam. <laughs> right to the so much goofing off. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, we had too much fun in this one, yeah. But that's all right. It makes for good. Hey, as long as it makes for two months. weeks out, I'm good. Yeah, exactly. That's the way I look at it, you know. <laughs>